Hey guys, Perry here at the Toronto International Film Festival with another review for you. This one is for Barry Jenkins' Moonlight follow-up. It's a Beale Street Can Talk. It's a James Baldwin adaptation, and it's got a big ensemble in it, but it mainly focuses on two characters, Tish and Fani. They're played by Kiki Lane and Stephen James, and they are a young couple, and they're living in Harlem in the 1970s, and their relationship is just oozing with devotion and love, and it's beautiful, and it's sweet, but they are ripped apart by the fact that Fani is accused of rape, and even though he didn't commit the crime, he's thrown into prison right when Tish finds out he's pregnant. I mean, really, just that synopsis right there is gonna give you a sense of how devastating this full feature can really be. And in this case, Barry Jenkins' choice to cut the now of their situation with the two of them separate with their past, where you get that full feeling of love from their relationship, it makes the reality of the scenario hurt even more because you see the beauty of what they had and the hope they have for the future and then it's just taken away. And then there's this hopelessness to it too, no matter what the family does because the family member, Tisha's family in particular, they come together to try to get Fani out and no matter what they do, it just doesn't feel like they're actually gaining any ground, like they have any hope to overturn this ruling. And it, it's really heartbreaking and devastating I would say the only thing, though, that didn't work quite well for me with If Beale Street Could Talk is, in particular, the pace. After the first act of the film, and this thing has one powerful first act, there's a whole ensemble scene at the very beginning where Tisha's family is telling Fani's family about their, their baby that's on the way, and it is just a scene filled with powerhouse performances and it really just kicks off the movie with so much emotion and energy and, and this fiery feeling to it. And you never really get a scene that matches that. And also the pace slows quite a bit. And I found myself feeling a little disconnected from some of the characters, in particularly Tish. And it's a little frustrating because the distance was there, but I was so drawn to them at the same time. So I found myself just sitting there and, and praying that Jenkins would give me even more access than he already did to her mind frame and what she's feeling and he never really quite got there. The story is still incredibly powerful and it is definitely one that sticks with you long after the movie ends but in the theater while I was sitting there watching it I did feel like I was at a distance and that was a little disappointing to me, but there are so many elements that work really well here. I think these are two actors to watch. You've got, I wanna repeat their names again, Kiki Lane and Stephen James. They are definitely going to be on the map very soon. It is another solid directorial effort from Jenkins and James Laxton's cinematography here is just absolutely astounding. You've got some great supporting performances across the board also. It's just one of those situations where I think everything is working so well and it didn't quite come together as well as you know especially when we're looking at his last film Moonlight where everything came together exceptionally well here that's not quite the case but the film is still really powerful and effective so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a B that is my review of If Beale Street Could Talk I must remind you guys don't forget to keep an eye on Collider Quick and also the main Collider Video YouTube channel because we're gonna have more coverage from the Toronto International Film Festival coming your way real soon.